Hola, hola. Me, eh, Armando, ¿se escucha bien ahí? Sí, 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 ahorita. Sí, sí. ¿Cómo? Sí, sí, se escucha. Eh, no sé si ustedes ¿Se escucha me escuchan. bien, Armando? Sí, sí, sí. Hola, hola. Sí, teacher, se le escucha. Hola. Eh, no Armando, sé si me, me escucha. Ahí. Hola, hola. Sí, sí se le escucha. Sí. Ah, ok, ok. Armando, tú quizás no le escuches. Ya no le escucho. Armando, tú me escuchas a mí. Ah, no, perdón, sí, perdón, sí. perdón. Estaba, estaba mal el. el, 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 el. La había movido el, 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 el botón aquí a la. Ah, ok. A la audífono, ajá. Ya estuvo. Ahora sí, escucha. Sí, dijeron, pues, que ya el teacher ya se quedó sordo. No, yo pensé que no funcionaba a mí hoy los audífonos. Y yo, como todos son complaints, ya le iba a decir a los de esa. Este. Ok, chicos. Eh, welcome back. Welcome one more time to classes. I hope you had a great weekend. I don't know how your weekend was. Is it was great? Was so so? Was. I don't know if you spend the whole weekend sleeping. <laughs> Nobody think that, right? Nobody spend their weekend sleeping, right? I think we're gonna call the roll. Let me check right here. Let's we're gonna call the roll uh, after we finish the classes. YouTube, we have oh, we have twenty two, right? That's good. That's good. That's great, guys. That's great. Okay, guys. Just for making a review, what we were talking about the last class. What we're talking about? Who remember? Who remember something? Guys, can someone tell me? Hello. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Good night. Good night, Ana Graciela. How Good are night. you? How are you? Excellent. Excellent. You feel, <laughs> you feel great, right? <laughs> oh, we, we call. Nah, don't worry. I think everybody is getting sick because this is the season of, of flu, cold, sore throat eh, due to the change of, of weather and uh, that that's something that really impact yeah that's something that really impacts your body and and according to your defense uh, is how you can get sick or not that is something that happened with our body right okay, okay guys uh, now as uh, you remember uh uh, this class we're gonna start with the section three, and the name of this one is how much is it? How much is it? Uh, uh, with with which kind of thing we can relate this this topic? How much is it? It has to be with 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 what? With See, look, with money, with money, with money has to do. No, I, I'm not talking about the the meaning of the translation. I'm talking about we how uh, uh to what this refers. How much is it? it yeah, yeah, it Cuanto. makes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, also how much it costs, but everything has to do with with money. money. With money. With money, with cash, not with Bitcoin. <laughs> because nowadays I think that that that, that uh, virtual coin is no is not used uh, anymore. I don't know if everybody has used it that. I never use it. I just only prefer the physical money, the paper. Or the debit card. Or credit cards. 
Yeah. And well, in my case, I prefer debit card due to bad experience. I don't like to use credit card. I, I only use debit card because in debit card is your own money. And in credit card, it's not your money. It's, it's, it's less. But you pay, but you pay, uh, how do you say, doubly? Double. Double. You pay double. <laughs> uh, the the rate of interest is is high. O sea, la, la escala o el valor del interés in the in the credit card is is high because you know that it's according with the bank that you are working with because not all the bank has the same rate uh, according with the interest. Some other has more, some other has less, and that depends on the on the bank where you have the con or where did you get the the credit card? I prefer card. to have the debit, nah, the debit card. <laughs> No yeah, the, debit card is the best. I give you that advice. Uh, this advice is for free. Debit card. It is the. I was listening to someone said that if you uh, need to uh, to give like a loan to to the uh, if you make a loan to the bank, that means that you can. Uh, afford uh, to pay with the only income that you have because if your income were enough you don't have to make lends to the bank because if you lend money whatever institution were the bank a friend or a landlord a landlord is the usurero mm -hmm. Yeah, a landlord we can call it usurero. That that uh, those are the guys that really uh, with Teacher, the one. Yeah. Can you spell uh, usurero? Landlord, L A N L A N D O R landlord. A landlord. Oh. Double O, no, 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 just one O, just one O. Okay, o thank R. you. Just one O. The landlord are the, are, the, are the people who work by themselves. They don't work with, 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 with banks. The, those are the kind of people that say, se lo damos fácil, rapidito. And, no, don't believe in, in those fairy tales. That is completely a, a lie. <laughs> Don't believe those kinds of things because due to bad experience with some friends of mine, believe me, those cases are really hard to overcome. And no, 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 no. If you have to do a, a load, you can you better do it with the bank or a credit institution, but that is a, a credit with the with the government, right? Because even with when when you buy a car, uh, you the landlord guy don't appear on the system. Where uh, just the just the bank, the landlord people they don't appear on Seltrasen. Uh, they don't appear when you check a car. And if it this was belong to a landlord, they don't appear in Seltrasen. Just appear in the banks. The banks are the only ones that appear in Seltrasen when you check the status of, of, of the car. That is a good advice, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. How much is it? Okay. How much is it? Okay, we were referring to that. We were talking about that. Uh, that has to do with money, 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 or any kind of currency. You know what currency means? The currency. The yes. currency. Have you ever heard about that, that word? Currency? La moneda. Eh, uh, thank you, Wilfredo. Eh, es, la, es la moneda, the currency. Es la moneda. Whatever this one word. Eh, it could be coins. It could be the... The dollars that you have, anyone made of paper, of any kind of metal, 
Uh, that's the currency. In every country, the currency is different. Just here in El Salvador, we have dollar, but what can we do, right? And uh, that's the currency. According with how much it is. If, if I told you, what can you understand about incomes? Incomes. What can you understand, guys? Somebody can tell me about incomes? Incomes. Como ingreso, algo así. Ingreso. And what about outcomes? Salida. <laughs> Gasto. Ingreso. 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 No, Armando. Salía cuando ya, y es cuando ya usted ya se va. Ya me voy. Esa zona, no es una salida. Pero tiene, tiene la idea, Armando. That's great. That's great. That's great. The income and outcome. Income is when you receive money or someone else sends you money to you and you receive it uh, to your account. Uh, that is an income. An outcome are when you send money to some person or when you spend money and buying something, right? Those are two, two words that are related with, with the topic. Income and outcome. And also we have, uh, okay, let's continue right here. The meaning of color in the United States. I don't know if someone of you have an idea about this circle right here means with all of these beautiful colors and with all of these adjective expressions. Can someone tell me or can someone uh, has an idea about it? Guys? Let's see right here. Blue is peaceful. The green one is jealous. The yellow one is happy. The orange is foul. Can someone help me to read? Oh, I forget the the the, the laser. Can someone tell me? Help me, sorry, to read this one. Exciting. Red. Exciting. The, the, the color and the other word. Yeah. Red and Red exciting. And exciting. Oh. Okay, thank you. What about this one? Pink loving. Pink, Pink loving, right. What about the purple? Purple, purple mysterious. 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 Do, 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 do. What about brown? Brown friendly. 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 What about this one? Uh, 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 black, sad. Black, sad. black, sad. Did you remember those guys that were popular in the uh, in the twenty century? The emo. They used to wear only black, uh, black clothes. Yeah. yeah. Did you remember the? Did you remember those guys? The emos. Emos. <laughs> ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah they, they only wear black black clothes, right? Okay, let's go with the follow one. The Ray boring. Boring. Ray boring. 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 And this one? White, 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 pure. white pure. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah. here, here we have some questions. Which word have a positive meaning to you guys? Which of all of the words that we have right here have a positive meaning for you? You know what, what yeah, is a positive? Happy? Oh yeah, yellow. yellow happy. Okay. Orange. Pink Orange lovely. fun. Pink. Oh, pink, pink lovely. Pink. Yes. Yeah, what else? Pure. Uh, brown White. friendly. Friendly, Green. yeah, friendly. Green. White Green. pure. Julius, Diana. No, Julius, no. No, 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 it's not a positive. Es G... No, no, no. Julius. <laughs> Julius, no, it's not a positive meaning. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's positive. <laughs> okay, for her it's a positive meaning, right? It's a positive meaning, right, guys? Uh, okay, guys. Uh, what meaning do this color have for you? What meaning do this color have for you? You see the color, and do you see that 
each color has a different adjective or a different meaning, right? Why do you think that the that we have a color and a color is related with, with an adjective? Why do you think that? That, that uh, the author who created this book uh, relates those kind of things, the color with the adjectives. Why do you think this person did that? Mm -hmm. Has someone has some idea? I don't know if you have heard something about personality. Oh. Your personality. Really? really? Mm, okay. Yeah. Uh, there's a there's a famous study that a, or a research that a that a famous doctor did in the past that said that uh, every color uh, deals with some of uh, of the mood of the people uh, have. The mood is like the personality. The color is always related with the personality. Uh, even he was talking about that the killer guy, listen well, guy, killer's guy, always prefer and they love the color blue. They may a research and Me? The majority, yeah, they may a research and you can search in on Google. They made a research that some of the famous killers, they prefer the color blue. I don't know why. And the psycho people, they prefer the color red. The psycho people, uh, like the people, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> yeah, the, the crazy one. And that's why every color is related with the with the personality, right? Brown is friendly. Or you appearing in a school that some of your classmates, they only prefer one color at the moment of they were working in, in, in class, in artistic. I don't know if you remember that. And you and you say, why you always use that color? I like it. I love it. I prefer it. But that that that's why they prefer it because they felt identified with the color. And according to those research, and uh, the research said that the color deals with the person personality. Yeah, that is so weird, right? You. Uh, I'm not a killer, but uh, my favorite color is blue. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. There are some exceptions, right? Ah, okay. there, there are some exceptions, but uh, no, we are not talking about that. Amart I'm spray. <laughs> <laughs> no, they did that research, and the research said that. Okay, don't worry for that, guy. <laughs> Let's continue. What does your favorite color make you think of? What does your favorite color make you think of? Do you do you understand what this means, right? What does your favorite color make you think of? Uh huh. ¿Qué es lo que te hace tu color o en qué te hace pensar tu color favorito? The pink. The love. pink one. The pink make Diana make you think in love. Yes. Okay, that that's cool. That's good. That, red, that. red, and and red, and, and red. The, the passion. <laughs> the passion. <laughs> A passion. Uh, the, the 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 passion colors. Okay. The the you said pink and and and, and red. You said right. Okay. What about yes. what about Floricia? What does your favorite color make you think of? My color favorite mm -hmm. is orange. Orange. Mm -hmm. In orange, what does um, your 
What do you think when you think in the orange color, Floricia? Mm. Um, uh, for, um, for me, is. You feel excited. Tranquilidad, como, como se dice. Ah, you feel, Paz, you feel <laughs> peaceful, peaceful. Mm -hmm. Peaceful. You feel peaceful. You feel comfortable. You feel relaxed. Relaxed. You feel yes. chilling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Laricia. Uh, okay. What about Wilfredo? Would you help us? What does your favorite color make you think of? Wilfredo? My favorite color is yellow, a little bit orange, excited red. But 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 those colors in what make you think when when you see in this in those colors that you already mentioned or your focus on in what color? What do you think when that color comes to your mind? Uh, red. Mm, when you see uh, what when do you see when you think in the color red? What comes to your mind? Um. It comes love. Ah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So some people also say that that when right they think in. <laughs> <laughs> some people say when they when they think in red color they think in meat because they are starving they want to eat some some meat right and makes sense makes sense right why not why not why not why not guys why not let's check right here. Who else want to help us? Who else? Ta, 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 ta. Ana Graciela, would you like to help us? What does your favorite color make you think of? Mm, my favorite color, mm -hmm. orange. Orange. And what do you think when the orange color comes to your mind? Mm -hmm. Well, you're gonna tell me. I, I, I think in 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 Aguila, in Aguila, I feel elegant, beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah. That makes you think in too green, in, uh, fancy, elegant. Yeah, you feel happy. You said happy, right? I don't know if I hear you well. Graciela, are you there? Hola. Hola, are you there? Mm. No okay. le comprendo. Oh, eso, eso es todo, Graciela. Ahí nos quedamos, ¿verdad? Oh, okay. Sí. okay, let's continue with the last question. Which word have a negative meaning? Which word have a negative meaning? Meaning from all of these ones black that we have, black, black, sad, uh, uh, sad, yeah, because sad is not good for for your health, right? Gray, boring. Uh, where, where, where? Oh, boring. No, no, no. The boring uh, is a negative thing. What else? Uh, Jesus. Jealous, Purple. jealous is not negative. Oh, Diana, Diana is, is saying that, that, that jealous is not negative. <laughs> it's positive for her. <laughs> it's positive for her. Uh, okay, guys. Todas las mujeres me dan la razón. Well, well, that, that's all up to you, Diana. That's all up to you. <laughs> same, same, same. Yes, yes. What is the blue? The blue one, uh, the blue one is. I don't peace. see. Yeah, it's peaceful. Peaceful. Una persona, peaceful. Okay. Una persona tranquila. Pacifica. Pacifica. Okay. You are a peaceful guy. You want. You want peace all the time. <laughs> That's mean peaceful. Peaceful. Okay, let's continue, guys. Let's move okay. to the following slide. Let me see. Hey, I don't know what happened with you. Okay. Okay. Let's check right here. Yeah. 
here we have a little conversation. They're perfect for you. Oh, that is one of the biggest lies when a guy or a gentleman tells to their couple, they are perfect for you. That's why they they say that, because they don't want to continue dealing with what the woman, the wife, or the girlfriend is looking for when they go to a to a store, right? Because your girlfriend tells you, how, how do I look with this blouse? How do I look with this jeans? <laughs> and you say, and do you say, okay, no, 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 me. don't worry, they look great, great, perfect, perfect. But you say, but, but you tell Diana them, remember that <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Very but, do you, exactly. but do you tell to your couple that because you, the only thing that you want to do is leave the store, uh, come back to home and relax. Yeah, I think that that is yeah our. Are very weird the 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 man that that the the goes always with their wife or their couple whatever you want to call it to the store and spend a lot of time with with the couple right I think the the is a or they are very weird cases very weird cases I think uh, <laughs> yeah I think we has a we we has a man. We don't have uh, too much passion for, for for doing shopping, right? Because in my case, what I do is that I check online what I'm looking for, tlac, 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 and start searching. Ah, ah, oh, ah, okay, this one, this one, this one. Ah, oh, okay, okay. And I go straight to the point. Okay, I'm looking for this one. Ah, okay, okay. This is, ah, okay, thank you. Boom, that's it. And the majority of the girls, mm, no. Uh, oh, this one look good. Oh, those are better. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that that used to happen with, with the ladies sometimes. Don't, don't, don't let me lie for that. <laughs> don't let me lie for that. Okay, here we have a conversation between a couple, yeah, a gentleman and a lady. Yeah, they are... Yeah, what is what is she touching? I, I think that it, those are a little but small, very, very small earrings. Yeah. Okay. He calls Steve and she calls Maria. Let's start. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No. The yellow ones. Oh, these. Mm-hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there? How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Ah... It's it's her birthday. It's her birthday. You have or you or in this case you must pay for what the lady wants. Yeah. If it is her birthday, you must pay. Listen, guys, you must pay for what the lady wants. In when when is the the birthday of your couple of or your girlfriend, of your wife? And yeah, you have to spend money, guys. You have to spend money because lady has a, that kind of custom that just uh, drop you a little pebbles in a good Spanish. Solo te tiran la pedrada, así. Psst, psst. And you have to pay attention. Oh, this is what she really wants. And you keep it on your mind. And if you don't get it, oh. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. She gonna peace with you. She gonna peace with you. You will get mad, her mad. Yeah. And she will be get annoyed with you. Because you didn't pay attention to the pebble that she throws you. Yeah, that's why the girls always tell you, fijate o, o mira que. No, pay attention, guys. Pay attention. This is a good advice and it's free. 
that's why we have to pay attention about everything ladies say. Okay, I would like to participate. Who are the ones who want to raise their hands? Who wants to help me? Ronald, hello, Ronald. Ronald, Ronald Alexander, hello, Ronald. Could you hear me, Ronald? Hi, Hi. Hello, Ronald. Do you want to help us with the little conversation that we have right here? You're going to be Steve. Yes. Okay, thank you, Ronald. Thank you, thank you. What about Marisol de Los Angeles with your new look? Would you like to help us being Maria? Marisol? Okay, teacher. Okay, let's, we're going to start at the count of three. One, two, three, action. Oh, look at this. Every Maria. Yeah. Thank you, but, perfect for you. Okay. This read once, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. No, the yellow one. Oh, this. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no, this is really a good color for me. Well, the next, the, the next next place isn't bad. Uh, wait, one. Mm -hmm. That blue one right there. How much is it? Eighteen for 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 two. That's forty two. Uh huh. Forty two. That's expensive. Expensive, right? Hey, let me get it for you. Is your birthday present? Happy birthday. Uh, okay. Happy birthday. Okay, guy. I really congrats to you because you you are improving a lot. Don't feel bad. Don't worry about if you make uh, a little bit say at the moment to pronounce some words. Because as I always tell you, as I already mentioned to you, we are here for learning. If we pronounce uh, bad one word, don't worry. Just we keep, we fix the problem and let's move on. That's the thing that we're going to do. Okay, one last pair of couple who want to help me. Nelson, Rutilio, hello, Nelson. Hello, teacher. Would you like to help us being Steve? Okay. Okay, and who else? Pa, 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 pa. Daniela, hello, Daniela. Hello, teacher. Hello, Daniela. You're going to be Maria, right? Yes. Okay, at the count of three, let's start. One, two, three, action. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. Okay. This red ones, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. No, the yellow ones. Okay. Oh, this mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace is mm -hmm. in bad. Which one? That's blue one, right there. How much is it? It's a 42. That's expensive. Oh, expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. If you build it present, happy birthday. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. It is a present that we are buying to our partner in life, to our couple, to your girlfriend, the way you want to call it, right? Okay. Thank you a lot, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Let's move to the following slide. Okay. If we see right here, here we have demonstrative one and ones. What do you see right here? How much is this necklace? How much is this one? What can you fare with these two words, guys? One and ones. Mm -hmm. 
¿Cómo? Uno y unos. Uno y unos. Singular y plural. Ok, singular y plural. Sí. Yeah. Singular y plural. Singular y plural. Yeah, right. decir este y, aqu y aquel o este y aquellos parece. Ajá, thank you, Ronald, thank you, thank you for that, este o aquel, ok. Recuerden que nuestro español es como very white. Eh, nosotros tenemos mu muchas frases que realmente el inglés no abarca, pero nosotros las hacemos propias de nosotros. Es como la palabra volado. La palabra <risa> volado en inglés no existe. Existe aquello lo que llamamos the thing, que podemos decir la cosa. O sea, por nombrar... Eh, cualquier objeto que no sabemos su nombre, decimos the thing, la cosa, pero en español nosotros tenemos la famosa frase que decimos el volado o el chunche, entonces son propias de nuestro vocablo, Ajá, es parte de nuestro día a día, de nuestro vocabulario, todos nosotros lo, lo utilizamos, incluso este, en el inglés se dan este, eh, la combinación de, de de palabra en inglés y en español, que es el famoso Spanglish, como cuando tenemos la palabra que decimos guachá. ¿Verdad que ya la mayoría de ustedes han escuchado esa palabra? Guachá. Ajá. Ajá. Y es gua... No, gua... dejemos otro. Acuérdense que decimos, hey, guachá ya. Guachá no sé qué. Uh -huh. pero, eh, pero, pero en realidad es watch up. What does mean that you. Eh, to be aware around you about what is happening. Hey, what's up? Oh, okay, thank you. Maybe you uh, go around walking on the street and someone uh, tells you, what's up? And you say, oh, where? What? Uh, stop. Stop, man. <laughs> no, what's up? Uh, es como, uh, mira eso. Ajá, es como un mira eso, o, o, okay. o cuidado. Eh, is another way of, 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 instead of saying, uh, be careful. Es otra forma, en vez de decir, tener cuidado. Uh -huh. Un llamado de atención. Eso, es a, a, it's a, a warning call, a warning call, yeah? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Harry. Okay, let's see, how much, how much? We were talking this in the beginning, how much? How much has to do or deal with money? If you see, also refers to prices, and prices has to do with money, uh, currency, those all those things that we were mentioning: debit card, credit card. Oh, also checks. Check. Oh, I was forgetting to mention that checks. If you see right here, we can mention the cost of something or write something. In, in this case, it's better apply writing you can write uh, the cost in number like you see here or you can write the cost in letters if you see here 42 if you, if you see 42 dollar here we have 59.95 or 59 dollar and 95 cents. Those are some ways in which you can refer to money when you are buying something. Yeah, and you made the transaction in, in English, right? Let's see right here. How much is this necklace? Or in other words, how much is this one? This one, this one replace, replace, the word necklace, guys. That's why we have one and ones because replace is like a like a little pronoun in this case because replace the noun or what we were talking about. If you see how much is this necklace cost, but if we change it for this one, we are also referring to the necklace. And we have the other one that necklace. That one. Lo que usted decía, Henry, en el buen español, ese. Ok. 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 Which one? Which one? Which one? You said right. which one? Ok. The blue one. Oh. The blue one. It 
let's see here blue wow blue wow also change to the one what we are referring to we were referring to the blue necklace it's 42 dollar how much are these earrings you see we have this for singular and we have this for plural plural okay this and uh, the other is this the pronunciation is a little bit long this and this the other and this uh -huh. the okay. first one is short this and the second one is a little longer this yeah how much are these earrings how much are these is replacing the no earrings yeah those earrings those which one the yellow one you see ones there even here we have the contraction if you see right there or they we are. also uh, we also can say they are 18 bucks 18 dollars it uh, the difference between box and dollar it's like a something more formal between a uh, let's call it in this way uh, because you're going to mention the the word box to someone with the one you are close but if you are buying in a, like in a luxury luxury store you're gonna say dollar is is a little bit weird that someone mentioned or tells you box in the in the fancy store right just in the fancy store. Okay. Let's move to the exercise right here. Complete this conversation, then practice with a partner. Here we have the conversation number one. Let's oh. see. Excuse me. How much, if you see, are? Are those jeans? Are do, do those jeans. We, we are talking about one jeans mm -hmm. or two or more jeans. <coughs> two or more things right because we are talking about in plural plural remember those or these you can use it both of them if you see those or this and singular is this or yes. the mm -hmm. this the this one that one the all of them are singular, and these and those are for plural, just for plural. You never gonna use those in order to refer just to one thing. No, 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 no. That's gonna be a huge mistake. If you're going to make emphasis in one thing, you're gonna use this or that that or that this or that yeah. you you are not going to use or you're not going to mention those one okay complete this conversation let's go move are those jeans right and let's continue right here which ones which ones ones which ones if you, do you hear... mean those uh -huh. do or you do mean... you mean this do you mean those, those. So, so because, because we were talking about jeans we were talking about two or okay more. Or, or more if just we were talking about one uh, the letter is won't appear here but you may be said hey teacher why if the jeans uh, appear with the letter s no in this case we may emphasis the letter s to refer to a plural because we're as you already see we were talking about things right here at the, uh, the beginning. Plural, plural. We are not. Okay. We were not talking about a, a singular thing. No. Uh, since we start here with those, that may emphasize that we are talking about in plural. Okay. Remember that, guys. Be careful and pay attention to those little details. Okay. Thank you, guys. And let's continue key. No, 
the light blue, blue ones. One. Ones. Ones. Okay. Oh, oh. Those. Uh -huh. those. 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 Oh. Those. They. No, 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 no. Those. No. I, I was I was making emphasis about the plural. They are. Oh, they are. And, okay. and here we, oh, and, they and, are. are. Oh. They. No, 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 no. You, you are getting confused. Uh, let's, let's start right here. If Ian mentioned, if you are making emphasis or mention about something in plural, I'm not going to use just only those. It's always related with with a before verb. Remember the before? They. Only they. And they. Are. That will be those are. Those are. Remember? Those are. Those are. We can use those one. Or they are. We can. Uh, they are. It might be like a more formal way to express yeah. or refer to 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 the jeans in this case because they were the one that we we're talking about but we can use both Inchar, but, pero puede ser they también no correcto es lo que yo les estaba diciendo pues se podría en un contexto utilizar ambas pero formalmente hablando como estamos hablando con esta estructura y utilizando esta sería o oh, They, sería they are. They, they are porque nos estamos refiriendo a que ellos cuestan verdad ellos ellos cuestan they they are, they are. 50 95 95 dollars okay almost 60 are you kidding are you kidding, <laughs> are you kidding? that is a famous phrase or a famous word that we always use here in in, in our country right what does it mean Estás bromeando. Está bromeando. Are you kidding? Oh, oh, other word or other phrase might be, are you pulling my hair? O sea, me estás, <laughs> me estás tomando. Are you kidding me? Uh, uh, yeah, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, are you kidding me? That might be a, another one, right? Okay, let's continue with the number two. That is said. I like this. 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 No. This. 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 Let, let's pay attention I right here. Over there. No. Over, o, over uh, there. O, yes. other, thing, other thing that was missing. Uh, if you refer to something that is close, you're going to no. use this. If you are making emphasis to something that is far away, Or is that is that because if you have something near, you're gonna say this one. If you have something far away, you're gonna say that one. That's the okay. different that that the difference between the the yeah. the other difference, yeah, <laughs> the or the two of yeah. them. This and that mm. one. Okay, I like I like that that back backpack over that's there. That's uh -huh. And what, what might be the keyword to understand which one we are going to use? The keyword is going to be over there. That means in Spanish, allá. O que está por ahí. Over there. That's going to be your si keyword. Usamos is? Where? Dice solo si está cerca. I like. Mm -hmm. This is for close. And that one, you have something far away from you. When you are in the in the market or in the in the central market, right? You are okay. walking by the street and you say to the to the seller or whatever who is selling a, a clothes or whatever you want to to buy, you say how how much is how much is called that backpack, that blouse, that jeans because it's far away from you. Because the majority of the cases, they are hung up in the roof. They are not close to you. When you have it close to you, you say this one. And you, when you have it far away, is that one. Okay? Uh, back okay. over there. How much is it? Is it? Because we are talking about? One. 
one, thing. one uh, yeah, wish thank one. you. One thing, okay. Wish, which one? Which one? Which, which one? one? Because it's it's one thing. One thing, thank you, guys. One. It's one. The, the red one. The red one. The red one. The red one. It's twenty-seven forty-nine dollars. Dollars, but but but. The but ring. this green is only twenty two and twenty five dollar. Or but this this green or this green. Oh one. Oh, yeah, this green one. Yeah, this green one. Okay, because you are making emphasis to the thing that you are talking about. You okay. have two words back, in order back. to make one. Only thing at the example that I already mentioned to you, the blue one, the but the green, green one, one is okay. only but the green one is only twenty two twenty five dollars twenty five dollar. Or you can call it another way, twenty two dollar with uh, twenty five cent or in or uh, the quarter uh, dollars. Or had the uh, <laughs> example that I mentioned to you right here, but fifty nine dollar and ninety five cent. Tw oh, okay. Twenty two dollar and twenty five. Twenty five cents. Twenty five cent. That is the famous quarter. Quarter. Why we call it quarter? Right. Because it's the, it's the, it, yeah, it's the four. La cuarta it, part. It's the four part of the dollar. La cuarta parte del dollar. Del dollar. Okay. And let's continue right here. Okay, let me see it, please. And we let finish right. Uh, let's let's see. Let me see. Let it, me see it, please. Let me see, see it, please. See it, see it. Como un... See it, see it. Uh huh. See that way. it, see it. Okay. You have to always mention in the in the, in the sentence, right? Yo, yo okay. only, yo only in the contraction that. The pronunciation differs in the majority of the cases, but in, in this case, that uh, there is not a like, contraction or something like that. You only gonna, you always gonna pay attention on the pronunciation. See it, please. You see, see it. it. You see that you have a comma. You make a pause, and then you you said, please. See it. That's it. Please. Okay. If you see that is something very used or that something very helpful to you, right? It's very simple, it's not complicated. This kind of structure, that's why it's called demonstrative because help you to demonstrate or help you to, when you are referring to something, right? And what we're talking about when we use this, refer to something that is close or is far away. Yes. When we use this. This is near. Near and that is far away. Yeah. Far away. Far away. This is gonna be used when something is not close to you. And this one when something is close to you. And remember that other pronoun can replace one. the noun that you were talking about. That's why they have we have two examples: <laughs> this necklace and this one, because this one replaces the noun necklace. We are talking about something in a near, that we have it near. And when we have something far away, that, that necklace, that one, because that one replaces the ne necklace. And the, and the other one, which one? The blue one that we were talking right here, right? The green one, the green one, because it's just only one thing. Just one only thing. Right. Let I don't know if anybody has a doubt about what we're talking about or what we mentioned. It's everything clear, guys. I don't know if someone has a doubt. O está todo claro, una duda con respecto a esto. Profe, no te... eh, who's, profe. who's speaking? Yo, yo, um I have a question. 
Who is speaking? Eh. ¿Quién, ¿Quién está hablando? Oh, Imelda. Ok, I already eh. see you. <laughs> eh, por ejemplo, donde dice this one, one, ¿por qué se refiere a uno? ¿O por qué one? Bye, en este caso, ¿se acuerda que tenemos los pronombres que sustituyen al? ¿Al qué? Al nombre, Imelda. Los pronombres nombre. sustituyen al, al nombre. Y en este caso, en la estructura del inglés, como estamos hablando de, de, de varias formas de poder trabajar con ellos, aquí estamos usando that para hacer énfasis, para señalar algo que está lejos. Y tenemos el ejemplo de un nombre, el necklace. Pero yo utilizo otra forma, datwa. Datwa, o sea, está haciendo referencia al necklace. O sea, cambiamos el, 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 el nombre, pues ya no usamos, eh, eh, ya no usamos el necklace, sino que solo decimos datwa. O sea, utilizamos un común pronombre, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, en vez de estarnos refiriendo siempre a la, al necklace. Por eso, porque usted puede decir también aquí, which necklace, y es válido. Y también puede decir which one. ¿Por qué? Porque este, este pronombre que utilizamos aquí, o ya, ya vémoslo de esa manera, nos está haciendo énfasis a, a algo que estamos an hablando anteriormente. Así es, así es en el inglés. Usamos todo este tipo de pronombres para sustituir al nombre en el cual nosotros estamos hablando con anterioridad. No sé si más o menos le... Eh, es, es, sí entiendo la idea de que cambia... <risa> Cambia, no es no, un no, número. No lo, que... no, no lo cambiamos, lo sustituimos. Lo sustituimos. Pero, lo ¿por qué se sustituye? Eh, ¿Por, qué razón? Con, ¿Por qué razón lo sustituimos? El inglés tiene muchas formas, al igual que en el español. Él no solo te enseña una manera en la cual tú lo puedes hacer, te enseña una, dos, o hasta posiblemente tres o más maneras de las cuales tú las puedes hacer. Entonces, ya sea hablando solamente con el muy nombre, Hablando solamente con un pronombre. Es como el... que diga, that one, eh, aquel. Uh -huh. O que yo le diga, aquel pantalón. Lo Ajá, mismo pero... que hacemos en español. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Una vez sabemos de es que qué estamos que hablando. Siempre está traduciendo. Es como decir, cuando nosotros tenemos las cosas por decir este, o por Ajá. decir aquel. Exacto. Al ¿Eh? estar, oh, al estar okay, en una conversación... Que... Y que ya okay. sabemos de qué estamos hablando, podemos no mencionar el nombre de esa cosa. Sino y que lo sustituimos. Ajá. Ajá, se sustituye porque se señala. Sí, aquí, aquí, ¿Sí? aquí lo hacemos hasta con las personas cuando alguien dice aquel, aquella, y aquella. la otra persona ya sabe de quién está hablando, ¿verdad? Aquellos. O sea, uh -huh. Aquellos. Es Juan Volado, dijéramos aquí. ¿Sí? Ajá. Sí, yeah, yeah, that, that, that es, sí es solamente un sustituto para uh -huh. agilizar la conversación. Sí, para agilizarla sí, o, no, o, o no redondear tanto en la Está conversación. Pues, ajá, como que comienza uh -huh. a hablar yo de Juana, te sigo hablando después de Juana y continuamos hablando siempre de Juana. No, o sea, por eso la cambiamos. ¿no? El famoso aquel, en vez de decir, ah, no, pero aquella, en vez de decir Juana. Y en el caso del inglés, eh, como estamos hablando uh -huh. en un singular y estamos utilizando este, los... Los, los demostrativos decimos that one that ese necklace. eso uh -huh. sí. Sí, pero este, eso es para cosas no para personas eh, es. en este caso este más que todo aquí el, el, en el inglés se utiliza más que todo para 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 cosas u objetos ¿va? es bien raro es bien raro uh -huh. quien lo quien lo utilice con personas es bien raro pero en el lenguaje callejero informal pero... hay gente que sí lo puede uh -huh. usar pero no es correcto en persona. Eh, es cor gramaticalmente es correcto, pero es, po es poco, se usa bien poco. Sería según la formalidad de la conversación, teacher. Sí, casi siempre en los, en, en los, en los libros o, o de esas formalidades siempre se dan bien al pie, al, al pie de, de, de la letra, porque hay, uno, hay un famoso formato que se llama APA, que es el formato de escritura para el idioma, eh, el idioma inglés también. Entonces son formatos bien, o sea, bien estrictos que tienen que ir stick to the point, tienen que ir directo al grano de lo, lo que realmente ellos dicen. Pero podemos a, hacer este, también eso en una conversación y referimos de agua con alguna persona, pero no digo que no se puede usar, que se usa poco, 
al momento de hablar, sí, pero se utiliza más en la escritura, es otra cosa. Uh -huh. Richard, una pregunta. Bueno. Dígame, Nelson. Eh, hablando sobre lo mismo que están planteando por ahí, ¿por qué no se hace eso mismo con el plural? Di, por ejemplo, this one o dos one. Aquí. O es solo, eh, solo para el singular. A, 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 eh, this en das. En, en el plural. Aquí abajo. Sí, sí. Va, eh, en este caso, este tenemos dos plurales. Eh, est, esto quiere decir lo mismo que esto. Plurales cerca y plurales lejos. lejos. Singulares cerca. Uh -huh. Singulares. Singulares lejos. Lejos. Lo que pasa es que ya sonaría como sí, este. This one es este. No puede decir este por el plural, ¿verdad? Sino que se trata de esto. Pero sí, ¿por qué no se usa el this, this ones? Ajá. O el dos ones. Sí, esa es mi pregunta. Oh, the, ¿Por qué eh, no dice this ones y dos ones? Dos ones. Which one? Uh, aquí. No, antes, ahí. Aquí. Uh, no, which en, antes. en el this y en el dos. Uh, these ones, the, how much are these? No, how much are these ones? Ah, en, aquí en el de abajo. No, 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 en el ejemplo. Oh, en este ahí, ejemplo. Ahí, ahí, ahí. Aquí. Ahí, ahí. ahí. Dice dos rings y dos abajo solo dice dos. No dos, dos ones. ones. Va, en este caso vamos a hacer aquí la aclaración y es bueno que, me lo, que lo, lo hayan hecho, ¿verdad? Porque una vez se les puede, les puede ir a explicarles esa parte, ¿verdad? En este caso, como les decía yo, ¿verdad? Estamos hablando de los plurales. En el caso de los plurales, no ocupa llevar el pronombre porque ya con el dis, que es para cerca, y el dos para lejos, ya sobreentendemos que estamos hablando en plural, en el caso del idioma inglés. Y en el caso aquí con one, lo hacemos como eh, forma, formalmente y para hacer énfasis en un solo objeto. Okay. En un solo okay, objeto. Okay. Y aquí en la pregunta, ustedes verán que si sí lo tenemos con ese, which ones. Aquí lo hacemos ya plural añadiéndole la letra S. O sea, cuáles. Porque aquí solo es cuál. Y aquí es cuáles. Estamos hablando ya en, plu, vale. en plural. Vale. Uh -huh. okay, no sé sí, si. Sí, claro. Ok, thank you. Let's move to the last slide. And wait. Okay, here we have our last slide. And let's see what we have here. Add prices to the items, then ask and answer question. What price we can put to the sunglass to the to this song to these pink sunglasses? What price? What price? Kini mil quinientos. 300. What price? Can we put? $25. Yeah. What we call this? This we call the label. The label. How much is going to cost? 20? In dollar city, in one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let, okay. Let, okay. Let, let, that's okay. Uh, that, that's okay. Dollar city, one dollar. The pink one. Yeah, and what about the, the black one? Are expensive? Two dollars. Two dollars. Two quarters. Two dollars. No, the, no. It that, don't, right fancy. that don't exist. Two quarters. Two quarters is 50 cents. It's a pirate. 50 cents. 50 cents. Cent. 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 Uh, What about the? I think this is a a model of Nokia. I think <laughs> this cell phone. Free? Is, <laughs> is it toy? Three dollars. Three dollars. One, two, three. This one is four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. This one is four dollars. Okay, guys. Let's continue. Let's move to to the question. Okay. How, How much, much are these are sunglasses? These sunglasses. Remember, are these sunglasses? We are talking about in one dollar. One dollar the pink one. One dollar. And two dollars the black. 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 The black. The black one. 
Well, we were right. missing this, this this little chapter uh, that we have here. Useful expression. Why they are called useful expression? Because are expression that help you to answer or uh, to tell uh, 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 yeah to tell the other person your idea. That ships or oh, very very ship. That that reasonable. That reasonable for me. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, no, no, no bad. No bad. No bad. That's, That's expensive. 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 That's, That's expensive. Expensive. That expensive. That expensive. And you and you always when you when you say that word you always uh, you realize that you always open your eyes. Expensive. <laughs> <laughs> If that is a like a, an admiration way that now it's expensive, expensive. No good for my wallet. Yeah, or cuando le dicen a la señora en la tienda, qué caro usted. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, let's continue. How much are the? Uh, oh, okay, we we finish with the sunglasses, right? Oh, the Which pink ones? ones, and they say they are they are how how much you said? 86.99. That's expensive. Ooh, I think those are right bounds, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, or 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 they are yeah. uh, pie cartan, no piel cartan. <laughs> 86 86.99 is a uh, very very high price for uh, uh, sunglasses, right? Yeah. Because I don't know who was talking. About, who said that? Oh, there's some mention that in the dollar city we can buy them in in, in one dollar or two dollar or three dollar, right? <laughs> yeah. There's a phrase that that it's is like that the lack of market. <laughs> there's a phrase that 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 may emphasis with the dollar with the dollar store. But in, in, not here, but in the U.S. That says you cannot go to the dollar city and spend just one dollar. Then the dollar tells the and the dollar store tells you what you need and not what you want. <laughs> 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 in in Spanish, true. o sea, o sea que no vas a dollar city por lo que o, o por a, a lo que vas, <laughs> sino que do, dollar city te dice qué es lo que ocupas, pues. En buen salvadoreño, o sea, no, no vas a comprar una no sola lo cosa. Que busca, sino lo que no va, Ajá, no y, va y... al Dollar City a que le diga qué necesitas. A que le diga qué necesitas. Y se trae lo que no necesita. Uh, yeah, you bring what you, what you don't need. Yeah, that, that happens yeah. to the time. Ok, guys, let's see. Ok, guys, this is... This is all for you. Thanks for your attention. And tomorrow we're going to continue with the class or with the development of the topic, right? Teacher, do you have Please, a pass list? Oh, they are, oh, they're going to call the role. And let's see. Okay. Let's going to call the role. Let's going to call the role. Let's going to check right here where I have it. Thank you for reminding me that. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Eh, Ana Graciela. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Ana. Mo Anderson, Jeremy, are you there, right? I saw you. You were there. You were there, Anderson. Okay, I saw you. Mm, Armando Antonio. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Blanca Stephanie. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Blanca. Karina, are you there? Is go out, but uh, she yeah she was she was present right. Carlos okay. Aníbal, I'm here. Okay, thank you. Daniela Alejandra, I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Diana Patricia. You were there, right? No, aquí estoy. <laughs> okay, Elsa, Come Elsa, on, on, please. Okay, Elsa Noelia, right there. Present. Floricia Menjivar, I I, I saw you. her. I saw her. Henry Alexander. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Henry. Ingrid Esmeralda. 
Ingrid Esmeralda Cornejo. You were there, right? I think was there. Jaime Iván. Jaime Iván Castro. I think you were there. I am here, teacher. Okay, thank you, thank you, ma. Thank you, Jaime. Thank you, thank you. And Jocelyn, you were there, right? And Karina, here, Karina Yamilet. Yeah, she was there. And Carla Graciela. No, sorry. Carla Gabriela. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Maria Imelda. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Wendy. Present teacher. Okay, Maria Los Angeles. She was there. Present. Okay, este. Miguel Ángel Clemente was there, right? I'm here, teacher. Okay, Nelson Rutilio was there Present. also. Eh, Jose Romel. Present, Romel, teacher. Romel, Jose, Jose Romel. Ay. <laughs> Ronald Alexander. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you, guy. Rosa Elizabeth. Rosa, are you there? You were there, Rosa. No, I think I didn't saw you. Eh, Rudo de mí. Present. Okay, Wilfredo Alberto Canac. Uh, I, you, yeah, teacher. you were there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, this is was everything for today class. I hope to see you tomorrow. The same time, the same hour, the same place, the same computer, or the same cell phone. <laughs> Okay, guys, have a good night and take care. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.